Three, two, one, go. Let's start the speed run. So, I'll grab a snack and come on. All right, awesome, hater. Um, by the way, um, if you have any questions about what's going on the speed run, um, feel free to ask. I usually talk during the speed runs. Um, I do appreciate the conversation more than the PB, so I'm okay if there's some issues. <laughs> speed run, getting a snack. Go, go, go! Quick, get the cheese. Nachos. Where's the nachos? We are down on breadsticks. Adapt, adapt, improvise, overcome. <laughs> Uh, I actually downloaded a Japanese keyboard later. It's really genius how it works. Yeah, I, I mean, you were able to pull that off really quickly, it seems. I'm not sure how quickly you did that, but... Yeah, you were, I was actually really impressessed that you were able to just, like, get kanji over into my chat room, so... Oof. Alright. Okay, I almost mistimed that and just ran off the ledge. It'd only be a short time loss, but okay. Oof. All right, keep it moving. Ooh, deep breaths. Don't mess up. All right, there we go. And there's intro. Minus 2.8, nice. Little correction, those are hiragana, not kanji. Good to know. I just do kanji because I think, it's like how people call hashi chopsticks. I'm pretty sure, actually chopsticks I think is the um, Chinese description, so. Oop. Oh, I don't have... I don't have air dash. Of course. Of course. Alright. Alright. You just die. I don't want to deal with you. Wow. Are we just at the top of the world? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually didn't take damage. I can't believe I threaded... And then I just run into that. Beautiful. Mm, yes. Perfect reward for my hubris. For my self-praise. Mm. Alright, so we found the way out. Oof. That is... Alright, so... Actually, I was here, but I changed my Twitch name. It was... Alright. It was Hydor. Hold on! Hold on! Alright. Well, nice to see you you around hater glad you're glad to have you on the stream we're just gonna beautiful mm, we blocked the 25 damage so we could take the 27 and then we enter this room without the shield truly my ingenious knows no bounds all right so we need to find the dash heirloom before we can continue unfortunately so kind of have to just get lucky at this point look for areas where the dash heirloom can appear which is there occurring? Quite a few, actually. So, south works. This technically. Never mind. All right, so we'll check above. Here we are. Awesome, found it. All right, so Suicude's doing his reading exercise. I'll see you in ten to fifteen. Pretty awesome. Feel free to, if you have any cool phrases like that. Feel free to send them over to the chat. We'll guess what it is, even though I'm certain we will all get it rod, but we will get it rod to comedic quality. Oof. Oh! I accidentally threw the fireball too early, so I launched it into me instead of away from me. Ah. Uh, no, I didn't take damage. Alright, cool. That was actually a pretty good room then. Intelligence score of 1,000. Yep, definitely. I will say I do a lot of my running on instinct instead of like prepared planning. So sometimes things go south. Won't deny that. Sometimes the reason it goes south is because of my own hubris or decisions. Hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if someone could decipher and the seed to extrapolate a map from it. So, like, we just have a full map reader to each seed. I mean, I'm pretty sure the devs might actually... Actually, no, they don't have a device for that. Spydoc specifically talked about his job was to wander around maps to make sure everything developed properly. Alright. So we're going to keep going with the freaking Gone Heads route. So, Hater, so that you know, this is a new route that I'm doing that I believe will save time, or it will get me killed instantly. I'm going into the last area right now, where things deal... 
as much as 150 damage or something like that with my 200 health. See, 87 right there. And I'm going to go face a boss in here. So, the reason I'm facing this boss is because the boss gives me enough gold to single-handedly purchase all the important items I need in the second part of this run. By the way, 1 HP the dream, everyone. 1 HP the dream. Got some Ostenogesis Imperfectica today. Imperfectica! I have to not get hit a single time in this boss fight. Thank you for using the scariest attack in the game, you two. I appreciate it. You have the sc there's a sc that's the one scary attack they can do, and usually you just avoid it by um, running to the one who's not using that attack. But they decide to both use it at the same time. Hmm. I mean, they know how to scare me. I'll give them that much. They know how to be a good boss. All right. Oh well. So okay. We're going to try to recover, but uh, that's a big setback. And these are not good classes to help with a setback. Just saying going to the study made me anxious. <laughs> Isn't Ostenogesis in real life like glass bones? Ugh. Anyways, we do have dash. That is a positive. Unfortunately, we died prematurely and we do not have a flame barrier. That is a negative. So, usually from this point on, we focus on just having fun and keeping our runs sub 40 minutes. If I sub if not sub 40 minutes, sub 50 minutes. If not sub 50 minutes, sub an hour. Ah. Dead end, I see. Oof. Oof. All right. Be right back in five minutes. All right. See you in five minutes, brah. Well, looks like we just go round two because that's what the mapping told us to. Who's ready for round two? Round two, everyone. But yeah. So if we can get... If we can beat Gone Heads... The money from Gonhead single-handedly lets us buy the Architect and every upgrade to get to a level to purchase the Architect, which is why we needed it. Ah. Hammer, I see. Curse you, Hammer. Well, looks like we're just doing another Imperfectica, it looks like. Because we don't get an option here. Unless we find an Apple. Thank you, Apple. We appreciate you as much as we appreciate meat. Actually, we technically... <sighs> Doom this. It took me a moment to realize what killed me. It took me a moment. Alright. Inside a human bone, there is a three... There is a 3D mesh that looks like a fine sponge from the outside. Um, Ostenogesis is one the sponge holes are much bigger, and therefore the bones are brittle. Ah, so it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like how birds have pretty hollow bones to make sure they can fly. It's that sort of, um, same effect. Hmm. Yeah, the term glass bones, of course, like, it's not actually, like, glass is a specific molecular structure, but, yeah. Less growth, more terrifying. There you go. Well, we found this area at least. But I think at this point, we're just going back to... We're just going back to base route to try to recover before um, our time goes to a nightmare scenario. Alright. All 
Alright. Alright, so we have to find a little mech, or we have to find gone heads. One of these seem one of those is not like the other. Oh, well, it looks like we are we're hunting for gone heads right now. That was the decision they made for us. Stay. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had histronic, and I legitimately thought I just took that 200 damage. I'm like, oh, uh, how did I survive? All right, well, round. So sometimes when you jump really fast, it, like in a frame, you don't get a refresh on your um, ability to dash. So that just happened and it caused me to lose a lot of health. So that was not appreciated. So, I die in one hit again. Hope you like stress and tension within every five seconds, because that's what's happening in this session. Woo! Yeah, if I kill one, the other becomes a lot easier to face, as you'd expect. Gotta be careful. There we go. Whew. No hit. Did it properly. Wow, 600 damage. Yep. Ah. Uh. I did 12 billion damage, sir. Such a strong character. But yeah, so now that I kill Gone Heads, I have access that alone. As you notice, I'm at, I'm only at 1890? All right, so there's some variance in how much gold Gone Heads gives you. It seems I got the lower variance. Why is that worth noting? Well, with lower variance, um, I don't think I have enough to buy the architect still. And I messed that up, so I just have to go through a door and reset. Not appreciated. Neat, I appreciate you. But yeah, so now I actually am not done with gang gold collecting, which. Ah. Hmm. So. Okay, no, actually now I have 1910. So yeah, I, I forget how it's 10 gold per. So it's not as a thousand is it actually not. So I think at 1910, I am might just barely be able to buy the architect. And I'd have to... Um, with the architect, I would have to... Um, buy the lowest common denominator route. Which, I mean, works. Just... Not enjoyable. Hmm. Chicken. Da 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 da. Chicken. Um. What was it? I was once in someone else's chat, and um, they were like saying like, "Man, I wish this had Twitch integration." I'm like, "There is. If you just type in meat, you'll actually get a meat one at times other than when you're already at full health." <laughs> like, just like joking. That's the. Meat drops are all based on Twitch integration of whether or not you say meat. Uh, I remember that. It's kind of funny. They enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. At the very least. But yeah. So, Hater, 
whenever a run goes south, I still always finish all my runs. I just switch over my routing from, like, optimal, optimal like, get world record routing to stay consistent routing. So, that little route's listed on the bottom there, um, with book next, followed by bones. That is the um, consistent routing. The record routing was the one I, was, I just did last time, and I'm trying to get more optimal at. Wait, I still don't have a Lamech. Oh, but I have gone heads. Who cares about Lamech? I'll face the Lamech another day. Also, being able to look around would be great, but, uh... I have the worst control scheme for Axis Mundi. I'm just gonna say that flat out. I think it's pretty well agreed upon. That there are diff optional things. Oh, Toggle Synesthesia would be great for Twitch integration. Like... <laughs> Just like, um, you donate bits or like follower points, and it it gives them a panic attack as if they have the panic attack con X condition. That'd be that'd be horrible, but also great. Specifically in Axis Monday, it'd be a nightmare. I wish Mouse could let you look around. Yeah. The honestly, whether or not you can look around easily is dependent on, like, if you, then again, um, if you, I've heard comments from people saying, like, Mindful Line, that, um, like, with how he does it, a lot of people are like, what, do you just have a third hand or something? Like, because Mindful Line is able to keep moving while looking around and all that stuff, taking care of things. Alright, so since we're at full health, we actually do not have to stop for the book. Gotta remember that we still have Enoch to face, or Lamech to face. Like, of course we still have Enoch to face. He's supposed to be the last boss. Hmm, but yeah. The look around function being a little hard to use is definitely, like, a big deciding factor of control scheme. Thank goodness I blocked when I did. I usually save my blocks and, like, blocks are like those items in um, RPGs where it's like, save this for emergency. This is an emergency, but what if there's a bigger emergency later? <laughs> uh, and that's how I use them sometimes. And if you don't get that out of your head that you can't, you actually have to use them when they occur, you're gonna have a bad time. You gotta make sure to use them. So yeah, the only reason I'm hitting them both at the same time and, like, focusing their helps down at the same time is because this is not as hard of a fight as Gone Heads. And if you can kill both near the same time, it will sometimes actually speed through the, um, Void Beast defeated symbol there. This guy. It sometimes actually speeds through it. The problem with the function is that the game is now so big that, that you need it. Hmm. I definitely think rooms, like, specifically, Axis Mundi. Whether or not Axis Mundi is good is dependent on the look around function. And there are some big rooms. I will not deny that. Yeah, I will say, um, there's not a problem with, like, the look around function in general, but there is a problem in not having solid control of the look around function in general. I feel like there should be some sort of heirloom that improves the look around function in some form. I would not know how to do it. I will be honest. So, I do not know if extra wide monitors are supported, but as of right now, there are not many rules. Um, like. Oof. How do I say this? We're not, as far as I understand, we're still not um, 
official in speedrun.com yet. So, like, we're still in, you know, the game's still in testing. So, there's a lot we still have to do before um, we start, like, officializing rules. We have general themes of, like, codes of honor, themes that we know we're going to be doing. But when it comes to control schemes, um, monitor layouts, frame rates, there's no rules. Technically, there's a 30 frame, there's a rule that, there's an exploit you can use if you're, if you're running the game at um, 30 frames per second or lower. We haven't banned it, but it's there. Thank you, Meat. I appreciate you. All right, Lily. Going below 100 resolve always feels a little bad, but with these war drums, how can I say no? Like, every heirloom I grab gives me 10% less health, but 10% more damage. So... How can I not? We're gonna just grab this now. Not gonna get myself killed trying some maneuvers. Um. So there were some words that followed special rules I only learned like once and never had to use. But you somehow managed despite that. Gosh, that, that reminds me, like there was once a science test where they asked us, um... How close is the closest star other than the sun to us? Like, the answer is 4.2 light years. They asked this in a test. They mentioned it once. And the only reason I remembered it is because I thought it was cool. That was it. That's the only reason I had any memory. Everyone else in the class, like, apparently I'm the only one who got that question right. And I don't blame anyone else in the class. I only got it because I thought it was cool. Ugh. I meet. Oof. So speedrun.com, whether or not it accepts your speedrun category, it's kind of dependent on where the, like if it's in beta, it depends on where it is on beta, like it's rate of like refreshing and updating. And they basically, as far as, I have not gone back to check, but my guess is that the reason it's not currently um, in speedrun.com is because every update, like, adds entire new biomes and bosses and stuff. Like, the Hades um, update was still, like, a completed game. The only end route is you kill the last boss and you check your time. Like, that's one of the things that kind of annoyed me. They they took away the end screen from um, Far Shores. So, like, it's even harder to just, like, argue that... Hmm. I have no idea what actually decides them. I'm just making guesses. Oh, is there any Discord for it? Dude, the um, Discord in the game, Cellar Door Games, actually, the whole reason this I got started in this speedrun is because the Cellar Door Games, the company's, the company's Discord, had a section for speedrunners. So, that's how I got started. I know I found one lily. Where was it? Oh, God. Uh. Okay, we're gonna find a lily near Namah, because I'm not interested in going all the way back there. Alright. Is the lily grabbed? Man, sometimes I get through those rooms, and I don't even know how I do them. Oh, you're on the Discord, but you just never saw it? That's kind of funny. Ah. Uh, yeah. Slowdrug Games is what I think of when I think wholesome indie company. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good description. Hey, Vibes, how's it going, man? This run looking a little weird. Actually, we're going to save the lilies, I think. Um... Using the lilies increases our max health, but increases our but decreases our max damage. Hmm. 
Which is more important? Honestly, we just have certain percentages that we have to pay attention to. This is 30% more max damage, which is good enough for what we're doing. Uh. Yeah. One of the things that I like is just, like, one... When the developers have the time to come on, they just, like, kind of chill. Like, they're just, like, just in the other members of the chat, they just happen to have a little flag that says they're the developers, and because of that, everyone just likes them more. Uh. Definitely need to learn to optimize them off. Defeat them off faster, basically. Because, just like looking at my runs of them off versus others, there's work. There's work that needs to be done. Whoop, there's a wall coming. Knew it. So there's kind of a funny theme that Nightmares, you have to have the book to shut them off. But for Namaz room specifically, they decided to make an exception. You do not need the book to shut off Namaz Nightmares. Which I don't... Like, I guess I understand why they made that exception. It's just kind of funny. Because they actually would have had a lock of the book. Use the book as a lock for this boss fight. If they didn't do that. Oh, by the way, I just realized I have so little health that if Nama hits me, I'm, I lose my Hyperion's Reign. And then when I res, I actually think I die in one hit still. for a game that will be released next week. Ooh. Nice. Oh, you want to plug the stream there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, Hater, that's actually how I got my, my first start streaming. I plugged it. There's a self-promotion page where I plugged it. If you guys want, plug my stream there. I'm, like, I'd be honored. I'd be totally down for it. I just, I don't do it because uh, most of the people who know about that and want to watch me, already do. Or at least that's my understanding. Maybe more have come in since then, I haven't realized it, but... Oh, I grabbed this apple last time. Alright. Let's see. We need throne, and we need the ability. Alright, looks like this is the room, which scares me, because... Daggers. Daggers are always, like, the scariest enemy in any given area. I swear. Get out. I used that shield bash. I nearly didn't leave the room in time to take advantage of it. Whew. This is not a good layout for me. I need to go back right, I think. Alright, fine. We're just going to find um, Enoch, and then we're just going to bail. Enoch's always at or near the top. There you are, Enoch. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Easy transportation. I appreciate it. Uh, 
for people who played RL1, there's a neat post-mortem video on YouTube about the development process. Yeah, I watched that. That's such, it's such a cool video, like, how they discuss why they had, like, the castle breakdowns, where they had issues, um, all these things of, like, cost-saving mechanisms that they take care of, that they consider. Hmm. There we are. Alright, love to come on the Discord. Thank you, hater. I appreciate it. Oof. Alright. Oh. Oh, whoops. There we go. Thanks. Ooh, luckily there are two chicken lanterns here, so. All right, got that taken care of. I love this void dash, it looks so cool. Yeah, and also for like speed running, it's actually surprisingly valuable to just be able to, instead of having to time your dashes all the time, to just be able to do just like, these big long void dashes and then just let go when you feel comfortable to like tap it really rapidly again. So it actually has some speed run tech with it, which is really appreciated. Let's go. That's gone heads, we need murmur. It's okay. Remember how annoying the three-shot eyes were in Rogue Legacy? Yep. So, in case you're wondering the difference, people, um, in e in the previous, you know how the eyes track you until they start shooting? Well, in the original Rogue Legacy, they keep track they keep tracking you even after you, even as you were moving, as they were shooting. So you would basically go running but under them, and they'd shoot like a huge spread. But as you keep moving forward, they'll be following you. By the way, bright flashing warning. Every time I have to destroy these orbs, um, there's going to be a bright flash. Not yet. I usually destroy them right around here. If I need to. Ooh, didn't need to. That's good. Alright, well here's where the bright flash. If you ever sit, sit low, it's going to be a big bright explosion. But he's saying them high. As long as he sends them reaching for the sky, I'm fine. The tracking, so the tracking just made it harder to maneuver around sometimes, so it's just like a difficulty theme. Whoa, Murmur was very nice today. Very nice day. Been a while since I've had someone that friendly. Yep, I don't know if someone might have some visual issues, so I don't want to put them in trouble, you know? They took out some of the um, other visual traits because people were complaining about like their themselves hurting and stuff. Oof. Don't forget Lamech. Nope, I have not. I, I have Lamech and Book still. I can't believe I have Lamech and Book still. Alright. Oh, nope, get out, get out. Ooh, timed that well. Oop, kept him way in the corner over here and on the ground, perfect. So there's very few projectiles that can actually hit me. Makes that attack very easy to avoid. All right. 
Just doing that because I don't want to take risks. Alright. He's actually in the perfect spot again, so... Oh my god. Oof. Next run, you'll see it. Alright. The eyes reminds me of the most annoying bug in Hollow Nest, the three sh- Oh, are you talking about the Mantis Lords? Oh, oh you're talking about Primal Aspects. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, there's like all these jokes if you ever go to the Hollow Knight community about like primal aspects, <laughs> like, um, just um, like the actual final boss is just the queen primal aspid. I'm never going to use my Hyperion Serene unless I use it now. Hmm. I'm not going to use my Hyperion Serene now. I didn't know the Fireball had a draw range. Huh. Hollow Knight makes you learn to be patient. You can nuke nothing there. Hmm. Never thought about it that way. Every boss is a final boss. Uh. Hmm. So I just remember when I first played Hollow Knight, um, I played through, like, I faced the False Knight or whatever. I'm like, you know what, this is fun, but I don't know why everyone's, like, exploding and bragging about how amazing this game is like this boss fight was fun but like they're gonna need like a good 10 set like 15 some huge amount of additional bosses like this guy for me to really say Hollow Knight's gonna be an amazing game in case you're wondering I said that about the very first boss fight I was under the impression it was gonna be like Super Metroid where there's like four boss fights no no it it, it did exactly what I said it needed to do to be amazing it like when you are able to put a boss rush mode into the game and the issue is like people can't beat that fast enough yeah mm. oh path of pain okay that's actually something I still need to do I never actually um what so I discovered that game as I was playing it, basically, so I never actually knew about Path of Pain. I never knew about White Palace until I came back for the second time, and I certainly did not know about Path of Pain. And since it's so hidden, I, like, when I was playing that game, I never knew about it and therefore never did it, and I kind of want to go back to do it, but I'm not sure, like, how, you know? Like, it's just been so long that my skill to do Path of Pain is not there anymore. Or we'll see. W perhaps we can. Have you played Super Metroid, my Isers? Um, I've played so I've played through Super Metroid. It was very fun, but I was just like, oh my god! I just, I just now found the entrance to Stiggy and Study. That's actually kind of funny. Um. When I finished the Path of Pain and closed the game, the sounds never turned off. 
Uh, that's funny. Ooh. I'd be down. I would be down to try to do Path of Pain. So, I actually plan to, um, I... So one of my ideas is I'd actually love to learn how to speedrun that game entirely. And, like, starting with, like, a practice speedrun that also had me go through Path of Pain would actually be a lot of fun. I'd be down for that. Like, really down. All that's left is just to find Lamech. I have enough health, enough damage, I'm gonna kill Lamech when I find him. Ugh. So weird, we're ending the run with Lamech as the final kill. Gosh. Is it literally... Are we about to explore the entirety of the area? I think so. Wait. Reverse boss order. Um. Yeah. So, um, reverse boss order actually... So, I guess you're wondering. I do gone heads first. Like, it's not actually a bad idea. To do reverse, like, reverse boss order could end up actually being an optimal strategy for this run as time goes by. Because of how much gold Gonheads gives you. Um, and, like, the fact that Gonheads leads you through to Enoch. It is entirely possible that when I'm adapting for a run, that reverse boss order ends up being the solution I come down to. So, did not happen this time. But one of these days, that might actually be a case. Enoch. Or Lamech. Please. Uh. Lamech just stay. Aw. Oh. Mm. Ha. Ah. Oof. Literally the last room. Truly the last room. Also, I just... I don't think... I'm at level 3, I think. I think I never bought the Architect. Yep. Nope. I'm level 3. I never bought the Architect, guys. This was... A weird run. No Architect. Lamech is our final fight. Like... Something. This one was something. Can't deny that. Alright. Woo. There we go. Yeah, not a bad time. Just like... Want a better time is all. But yeah, I'm not going into 50 minutes anymore. I'm not going into hours anymore. Which is really appreciated. The new route is so good you don't need no architect. Hold up. I think you just gave me an idea. No, no, no. It's lost. Never mind. But I was going to say, if you can kill Enoch on the first life and just go... Like, you basically take care of the entirety of Stygian study so that you never have to go up, so that you could then die, go back through Citadel of Gartha, and, like, on that way through, kill a mech, and then go right through Axis Mundi and Enoch. So you just do two lives, one life kills Enoch, the other life goes far to the east and takes care of the rest. But you still need to get Spin Kick for Enoch, so might not work. Whew. Good job, Lady Sarah. Good job.